Good morning, virtual learners. Sophia, Esmeralda, Eliani, and Violet. <clears throat> Today we're reading aloud Heroes of Tomorrow, or Los Héroes del Mañana. This story is about 9-11, and as you know, today is September 11th. It's the day that our Twin Towers in New York City were knocked down, and many people died at that time. En aquella ocasión del 9-11, o septiembre 11, hace 19 años atrás, se cayeron unas torres en la ciudad de Manhattan. Y por eso está dedicado esta este cuento y también la tarea de hoy. Por favor, escúchenlo muy bien. Heroes of Tomorrow by Edward Sieber. We all put our hearts and souls into our castles in the sand. We enjoy the freedom to express ourselves from sea to sea and across our land. We are a country of people from all walks of life. People have come from many different places. We are a country of diversity. People with so many different faces. Hispanics, African Americans, Caucasians, and Asians. We stand together one and all. We work hard all day long. Little by little we will build a country where everyone can belong. One late night, one late summer day at the seashore, the skies were sunny and blue. None of us expected any troubles before the day was through. We all had our plans for what for that morning. Some swam, some fished, some dreamed. We built our castles in the sand. It was just another day at the beach, or so it seemed. Then suddenly, without a warning, our castle was knocked in, knocked to the ground. We all stood in disbelief. None of us made a sound. You see, and that's what they do. They knock down things. I wonder how you feel about that. We assembled at the base of the castle to discuss what plans to make. Each person contributed ideas before we agreed on an action to take. It took us a while to understand how these people could so cold-hearted, but we dug deep and grabbed our pails. We went back to where we had started. And you start to rebuild. You hope that nobody comes and destroys it. The destruction of our castle with our flag buried beneath could not affect the foundation we built on our American belief. We can still survive. We will hold our ground against these tough guys in their attempts to destroy our pride. They play their games and think they have won as they run away and hide. When we play at the beach, we know it's a game. But sometimes the real world has troublemakers just the same. So we look to our her heroes who are on, a, on duty each day. They are there when we need them. They are here to stay. And let's see who are those heroes. Our firefighters are heroes. They risk their lives for others. They are bound to a common goal. All firefighters are brothers.
Our policemen are here to serve and protect. They are heroes, brave and nice. When our policemen put their badges on, they make all the bullies think twice. We have ambulances and medics. Our doctors and nurses are must. We count on them when they, when the going gets tough. In their hands, we place our trust. Never forget the military heroes. Freedom is what they preserve. They guard and protect our country. They have earned the respect they deserve. So on those days when, the, when we encounter conflicts that test the tough, that test the strength, I'm sorry, of our foundation, we must find resolutions this starts with communications. Ta together we work to together we work day and night to rebuild our castles in the sand. None of us ever gave up. There was pride across our land. Yesterday's heroes put their lives on the line to protect us and minimize sorrow. Yesterday's heroes teach us what to do today so we can be the heroes of tomorrow. And one of the symbols of the United States of freedom is the Statue of Liberty, which is already located in New York City. So, heroes of tomorrow, now I need you to go and think about that question that I posted there. How do you feel about those tough guys, those bullies who destroyed the sandcastle? And what would you do if you saw these people do this? Think about those.